Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 14 of the Beginner's Guide 2023, and in the previous episode we were upper the Mounds of the Dead, where we were getting some armor pieces of this uh, Sumerian steel armor, epic armor that uh, a couple of the couple of the friends behind us are wearing there. And we also managed to get ourselves a Delincia and uh, another Sumerian Berserker as well. Uh, that was pretty good. And in the process, we managed to hit, well, we managed to hit level 50. We've, we've went past that, we're 53 now. And at level 50, you get the ability to unlock hardened steel tools. So we can make hardened steel and then move up to the next stage moving from iron or well from stone to iron to steel to hardened steel is the next one so let's unlock that so we're going to go and get ourselves some hardened steel for that and there is a journey step for that somewhere here we go hardened steel smith so in order to make hardened steel we're going to first of all have to gather black ice then we can craft hardened steel bars unlock the knowledge which we just did there and then we can craft tools and weapons. So let's switch into that journey. So, black ice. Where do we get black ice from? Black ice tends to come from the snow region. There's a, there's a few locations that has black ice deposits, but one of the most simple one is this ridge here. I think it's called Skyfall Ridge, but we'll, we'll find out when we get there. But it's a ridge there. So Stargazer's Crest, where it was one of the locations we were looking for Delincias. There's the Mounds of the Dead, so just to the northeast of that. Just over a bit, you'll get up onto this ridge and then we can go along this ridge. And there is a whole pile of deposits here, there is some here, and then we'll come back this way and there's some there. The problem is, that's in the snow area and you're up at the top of a mountain, so it tends to get a bit cold. So how do we combat the cold? The first way we can combat the cold is by eating spicy food. So we get some spice, we get some food, we make spicy food, that warms us up. The other problem we have is drink. You'll end up getting thirsty, and if you drink from your water, you will get a cooling down buff, or debuff, which will actually make you colder, so we can't drink water while we're up there. So the two options you can get is you can get desert berries from down sort of this area here, or highland berries from up in this area, and you can squish them in your fluid press to make berry pulp. And you can drink berry pulp which will quench your thirst but without making you hot or cold. Our problem is we're we're quite a distance away from both of those berries where we, where we are. So what we've got to do is we can make another kind of, of drink that actually will help warm us up too. So if we head in here and go down to our stove, when we were up in the Mounds of the Dead last episode, we learned, let me see where I can show you, uh, survival, where's the cooking? We learned specialist cooking. So we've learned, the, this This is the standard cooking stuff, but these stuff here are the ones that you learn from books around the world. And Specialist Cooking 3 was one of the books we learned in the Mounds of the Dead. And when you look in here, it teaches you spiced tea. It's cooked at a stove. So that's tea that will quench your thirst and also warm you up. So if we look in here, there is spiced tea. And then to make spiced tea, we need spice and herbal tea. And herbal tea is also made, it's also learned in Cooking 3. And that's made with purified water, which we've got here, aloe leaves, and plant fibre. So you can you can loot this. This is stuff we've looted off of mobs uh, quite quite often, but you can also craft it. You can craft it in here. You need a, gla a, a water-filled glass flask, and that can make purified water for you. So if you haven't looted any, you can make it. But we're going to need fibre, we're going to need spice, um, and we're going to need aloe. So, how do we get spice? To get spice, you, again, you can loot that off of various mobs, but you probably won't get that much of it. But, if we get our sickle, we'll need a little bit of an aloe. There we go. And if we just get some of this plant fibre, 
Let's loot a bunch of the plant fiber because we'll need it for the herbal tea as well. Plenty of that all around the place. Okay, do. Right, we'll get rid of the bugs and we'll get rid of the seeds for the moment. And what we'll do is we'll put that plant fiber and we'll put it in the grinder. And we've got a grinder downstairs already. One lock that to make bone meal, the other... Let's put half of it in. There you go. It grinds it up. So I think it's ten plant fibre. Yep, yeah, ten plant fibre makes one spice. Let's put a little bit more in there. Okay. Right, and then in the stove we need aloe plant fibre. And let's put... We probably won't need that many. We'll take five. Uh, and then we can craft five herbal teas. Uh, plate. And then once we've got the herbal pea, tea, sorry, we add the spice to that. And we'll be able to make five spice teas. So a zesty brew, it says. Oh, okay. Play, crap. Here we go. A zesty brew. Expires, each one expires in 56 minutes. Strange number. There we go. Right, so we'll grab that. Oh, 44 minutes in our... Right, we also need spicy food. So to make spicy food, we need more spice and we need some meat. So, luckily, we have a vending machine for meat right outside the door. And we'll take the cleaver. Give me some meat. No, savory flesh or exotic flesh will do. And then we go back into our stove. We'll grab some more spice. And our meat. And then somewhere in here. Uh, here we go. So you can have spiced haunch, which is exotic flesh and spice, or you can have spiced steak, which is savoury flesh and spice. Let's craft some of that. So that'll give us a drink that can quench our thirst, and we'll, instead of cooling us down, we'll actually warm us up, and we'll have some spicy meat that'll also warm us up. Only warms you up for a, a small time, so I, th I think I'll actually go and make some more spice and we'll, we'll make some more of this meat so I'll I'll go and get that made and then I'll, I'll bring you back when we're when we're ready to go okay see you soon okay so we've got some oh got some rotten food so we'll do that way it's got some spice steak and we've got some spice tea crafted up uh, we've got our normal food and healing we've got our weapons and whatnot so we're going to take this berserker here, uh, follow, and we're going to take this Delincia here, follow, they're both level 5, I leveled them up off camera to level 5, get on the horse, and we're going to head north up towards like Stargazer's Crest, and I'll meet you when we get there. Okay, see you very very soon. Right, here we are, we're up at the, the crest, uh, Stargazer's Crest is just over in that direction, you can just see it slightly to the west of us there, hard to make it through the rain and stuff, but up here, that is the ridge that we're looking for, so I don't think you can actually just like walk up, you have to actually climb up a little bit. Just climb the first little bit, and then you, from here, you can, whoop, you can fall down. Let's try that again. Oh, we're still falling. Try again. Once you get onto this ridge, you can then walk all the rest of the way, or, or ride on your horse if you want. There we go. Right. So we're heading into the snow, and obviously, as we get the snow, we'll start seeing ice nodes like this, the sort of whiter nodes that are ice nodes. But we're looking for black. 
The temperature is starting to fall. It's minus five. Here we go. Skyfall Ridge. I'll just show you where that is on the map. Just here. So it'll be this ridge that goes right along heading towards the volcano. Yeah, some rams there. So we're now cold. Cold's fine. Cold doesn't damage us. We'll just use our food slightly more. These rams are... You have to be careful. They're super easy. But they do, like, batter you, and they can actually knock you right off the off the cliff. So it's always better just to take them out, play safe. Uh, right, okay, there's the first location. So as we get up here, on the right, just down a little bit, that there is black ice. So this is white ice, this is ice, so we're very cold now. Again, we're still not taking any health damage. That is normal ice. Be very careful, don't run or you'll end up launching yourself off the cliff. But this darker, almost blue, is black ice. So we harvest that, we'll get black ice and a little bit of ice as well. There we go, we've completed the gather. We've gathered a node, but we're going to need more than that. And let's get this little one and this one too. Right, we're now extremely cold, so we're now going to have to... So we'll eat some spicy food. See, our health has dropped right down. And that warms us up. So we now went from extremely cold to just very cold. And we could take a drink as well. And now our health's going back up again. Because we're sated from the food, so we're healing back up again. And we're not extremely cold now. So that warming effect will last about... I think it's about two minutes that you get. So we're going to... So that is... You got, so it can be a bit difficult, especially in the light, but that is just normal ice. We're going to head, keep heading towards the volcano. Right, let's get on the horse, make it a bit quicker. Keeping an eye on your temperature. A little bit later we'll be able to make better quality armour that will protect us from the cold a little bit more. And if you're extremely lucky, one of the epic, or one of the legendary chests can drop a... Soul Spiel, it's called, which is a, a legendary shield that gives you, I think, four or five bars of cold protection. So it has a sister one, which I think is called Mistmorn, that uh, does the same for heat protection for when you go to the volcano and it's super hot. Right, we'll go over this ridge here and we'll get to this section with various rock noses. That one there is a black ice rock nose. That is just the white one there is just a normal ice rock nose. So, just like the iron ones and the coal ones, if you take this guy out and harvest it, we will get black ice from him. So we harvest this guy. Ice, ice, ice. Oh, come on. Oh, well, we didn't get any black ice from him. But you should get black ice from the black ice rock nose. That's just a nice guy. Not a nice guy, ice guy. There we go. All the world leveled up. Right. There's one more rock nose over there. Also an ice one, but that's a black ice node here. Oh, I'm encumbered and he's coming out there. Oh, horse, come closer. Come here. Stop running away. Right, so we'll give him. The, uh, we'll take. Uh, we'll take two. So ice has a spoil timer. It will expire. Uh, black ice doesn't. It'll last forever. We'll need a little bit of normal ice as well. So we'll take that with this, and then we'll just go harvest the rest of this black ice here. There's a, a couple of nodes here. Another level. And if every node, you get black ice and normal ice. This one, over encumbered again, so we can throw the normal ice away this time. Give it to the horse. Uh, there's another one. Uh, 
that to the horse too. Uh, is that it? Is that it all? Let's normalise. There's nothing there. I think there may be... One. Nope. Nope. Some iron down there. Yeah, that's, that's all from this area. Right, so now if we ride back along the ridge. So, volcano behind us now, so we're heading back in the way we came. Being careful as we go over this rises so that we just don't launch ourselves right off the edge of the cliff. Because it's a long way down. So that uh, there is up in the top of there if you wanted to climb all the way up there. Oh, we're, we've, our warming food has worn off now. So we'll take another piece of spicy food. So we keep going past this one on the left. This is all back the way we came. A lot more iron down there as well. And then when we go over this ridge here... Right, this spire here. So we came up this side. It's on our left now as we head back. So, but if we go to the right here... There's going to be a few more rock nose on the passage just down here. Oh no, sorry, it's rams, not rock nose. They're a bit further on. Again, because if you get knocked off that cliff... It's all over for you. Fall is about that. Just coming out of the haze now, there's another little plateau over there that has more black ice on it. There's another ram. Is it going to come for us? It's a mountain goat, it's not a ram. So we'll go across here, and there is more black ice rock nose. There can be, I'm not sure if it's a 100% spawn, but there can be a blood crystal golem one of the big high yield golems that spawns here let's see comes around about here our food's worn off again let's see if anything pops up this is a black ice rock nose Harvest him, see if we get black eyes. We have got black eyes. So that's all the black ice harvested now. So we've got a, a fair amount and we need to get back. So we came, this is back the way we came. And we came from that direction there. But this time we're going to take a right and we're going to go down this path down here. And as we slowly head down this path, down out of the cold again. Okay, so now we just need to head back home again. And I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we've made it back home again. And the next item on the journey step is, unsurprisingly, craft a hardened steel bar. Now, to ha craft a hardened steel bar, we need, first of all, some steel. So let's take... 500 bars of steel. We stick them in the furnace with our black ice and we hit go. And I think it's one to one. So one bar, one black ice gives you one hardened steel bar. It does indeed. 
There we go. So if we take that, we've completed the craft a hardened steel bar step. Next, we have to craft a hardened steel tool. So we already learned the the tools knowledge. We did that at the start of the episode. This one here, craft hardened steel tools. So that, of course, will give us the option of having a hardened steel pick a hardened steel hatchet and a hardened steel sickle. So we need 22 hardened steel bars and three shaped wood to make one of them. So we're going to have to let this cook up a bit and get a whole bunch of hardened steel bars. So I'll let Dea do her lead drinking and get that going and I'll bring you back once I've got a, a decent bunch of hardened steel bars. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so Dea and I have just been sitting chatting while we've been smelting these bars. So let's get up and see what we've got. So we've got 137, 138, 140 altogether. Okay, that'll do for us now. All right, we stick them in here. So the first thing we have to do is a craft a hardened steel tool. So the most important one, of course, is the pick. So let's craft one of them. A little bit on the slow side. There you go, and that's that tool complete. So we'll take our steel one and we'll swap it for the hardened steel one. We will make a, a hatchet and a sickle. You have to actually learn in a separate place. Here we go, Master Butcher, which will teach you the hardened steel skinning knife and cleaver. So we may as well learn that. But the next thing it says is craft a hardened steel weapon. So let's go to knowledge, let's go to weapons. Uh, what's the first hardened steel sword is the first thing we can actually craft. The short sword is level 55, which we're one level away. The mace is 54. Oh. Oh, sorry, no, I'm 54. The mace is level 56. Uh, getting myself totally confused there. And the steel war axe is also 56, but all we have to do is learn one thing. So if we learn this hardened steel sword, even though swords are not my thing, we can then craft it in here. Is it right at the bottom? No. Let's search for it. Hardened steel sword. There it is. Let's craft one of them. There you go. So we've crafted the sword and that has completed the journey step. Oh, and it's unlocked a warsmith, which requires the next level up in epic weapons. Okay, so if we claim the reward, we're going to get this perfected hard and steel light weapons. Much like we did with the steel smith, we got the perfected steel weapons. This is the hard and steel version. And the good thing about that is now if we go into here, and go to Perfected. We've got Perfected Hardened Steel Great Axe, Steel Daggers, the Great Sword, the Steel Hammer, the Steel Mace, the Punching Daggers, the Steel Short so Steel Short Sword. Get my teeth back in. Uh, the Spear the steel sword which we've already done oh no we, we've done the normal version that's the perfected version and then the steel war axe so that teaches us basically all the hard and steel weapons the perfected version of them so we're currently rocking a short sword so let's craft ourselves one of them there we go right so the steel short sword with a damage kit on it does 35 damage and 16 armor pen the perfected hard and steel short sword does 58 damage with 16 armor pen and that's without any um, mods on it at all so that's a bit of a, a jump up oh that's a steel sword not a perfected one okay so that's just a standard sealed one 
Okay, but never mind. We now went from 35 damage up to 58 damage. Massive jump. So there we go. We've completed the hardened steel smith journey step, and we've went up and we've got our black ice, and we've crafted our, our at least started crafting our steel tools and weapons. There is one more thing I need to show you. Now that we've got hardened steel, another major jump is if again we go to knowledge, go to survival. I think it's in the cooking section. Yes, there it is. Preservation box. So it itself is a level um, 43, but it needs hardened steel bars to, to make it, which I guess you can gather them before level 50. You just can't make the tools until level 50. So I guess, yes, you still can make this at 43 if you so wish. So if we learn that, Go. We'll need our hammer for this. Now, let's see how much it requires. So if we hit F and go to... Where would that be under? It's not a crafting station. Oh, it's, it's right in front of me. Preservation box. So it needs 20 hardened steel bars, 2 insulated wood, and 2 black ice. So, we'll get two insulated wood from here. We'll get two black ice from here. And we'll get 20 hard and steel bars from there. And there we go, it's now craftable. Let's stick it down next to the cooking station. Put it right in the middle. There. Now, let's see, we've got some food here. That food has currently got 21 minutes and 50 seconds remaining on it. We stick it in here. It hasn't changed, but as soon as we drop some ice in here, it's gone. It's paused time completely. Same with that, got 11 minutes on it. Put it in here, no timer. As long as you've got at least one piece of ice, that ice will no also no longer expire. Uh, so it'll stay there, so you only actually need one piece of ice. Right, that's 90. The one piece of ice will keep everything cool and it'll completely stop the timer. So if we get any food that's in here... Let's grab that. Stick it in here, so it's all got timers on it. Throw it in. And now you can see it's completely preserved for forever. And ever and ever. Uh, anything in here? Oh, we've got some raw meat, got that, we've got herbal tea. Anything with an expiry timer on it, throw it in there. It also works if you capture a, like a baby animal, they've all got timers on it, throw it in here, it'll stop the time. But uh, I'll, I'll put back a, a decent stack of ice and you can make a few of these. Later on you'll be able to make an improved one that's uh, got bigger and has more, more slots in it. But that's a great way of preserving all our perishable items now. And we just need 20 hardened steel bars to make it. So there we go. We've crafted some hardened steel tools. We've crafted some hardened steel weapons. And uh, we went up to the north and we survived the cold with our spicy food. And uh, got our black ice as well. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.